What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I don't have much time to sit and make a video in my studio, so I figured whatever, one cut. There's some deals going on right now. It's Labor Day sale weekend, so a lot of places have a lot of deals and some places not so much. But the one place that I actually grabbed a couple fragrances from is jomashop.com. So I'll do my best to link a couple of these down in the description, but I figured instead of just linking something, I'd rather come on here and tell you guys a little bit about the fragrances that I think are a good deal and why and what they smell like. So the one brand that I noticed is heavily discounted on Joma Shop is Zerjoff. And I did grab a couple of Zerjoffs. One of them is Decus. Reason being is because it's 100 ml. It's 129 with the coupon code FRAG12, I believe. 129, that's how much I picked up my Naxos and my Renaissance back in the day. And they have never been that cheap since. Speaking of Renaissance, it's the cheapest that I've seen it in a long time. 100 ml for $167 not bad either and then when i scrolled down i noticed another fragrance kobe kobe i'm not crazy about kobe but kobe is known a lot of people enjoy that dna it's 134 dollars so not bad cruz del sur 2 though that is one that i love i love that fragrance not the easiest to wear it's a super milky mango so think of mango cream or mango lassi that's what cruz del sur smells like i freaking love it Another one from the Zerjoff line that I bought and I was extremely excited about grabbing is Golden Dalla. Golden Dalla is the best from the Coffee Break series. It smells a little bit, to be honest, I don't really remember exactly what it smells like. I just remember it being really, really nice. And then they also have the Golden Green and Golden Mocha. But if I had to pick one, it would definitely be um, Golden Dalla. The other one that I thought about picking up is Oud Stars the Fars or Fars. That one I really wanted to, I thought about it. And then they have some of those Tempest ones, the, the cool looking ones, the, the K fragrances. But the one that I picked up is one that is animalic and it's called ILM if I'm not mistaken. Where is it? It's called ILM and I looked at some of the reviews. There's not many reviews. You guys know I love my animalic fragrances and I'm sure there's some people out there for it, but per reading some of the notes and there's just a lot of Loatian Oud, Loatian Oud and Loatian Oud. And so the 1.7 ILM, I'm looking at it now, it's 132. That's a hell of a deal. I can guarantee you they will not be there anymore. Um, or if they sell out, it's done. I don't think, I think these are limited. There's another fragrance from the K collection of Zerjoff called Leila. But when I looked at some of the notes, it looked a little bit too femme for me. And then one more that I really was interested in is Luxor. One of my buddies is swearing about Luxor that it's great. Alexandria 2 is okay in my opinion. I'm not crazy about it. It's a little bit too baby powdery for me. But uh, the Oriental and Alexandria 3 does have my attention, which is also on sale. So the other one that I looked at was Al Khat. Believe it or not, a lot of these <laughs> fragrance names are Middle Eastern. They've got Al Khat, they've got Jabir. They've got Red Hubba. They've got a lot of them that are Middle Eastern. So that's it as far as the Zerjoffs uh, goes. They have plenty more you guys can check out. We've got a lot of cheapies that are on sale as well. The other sale that is worth mentioning is Max Aroma has um, Nasa Model fragrances. But I don't really go too much on Max Aroma just because even though they have sales, like when you compare it to the retail, it's a good deal. But realistically speaking, I mean, it's not always the best, but right now I will say that some of the NASA model fragrances are on sale, pretty discounted, pretty, pretty discounted. So I'm going to take a look and see if there's anything other than some of these Zerjoffs. I know that I picked up a lot of Arabian Oud this week, so you guys can expect to see some of those. Did grab my third bottle of Arabian Oud's Cashmere Musk for women. It's for women. It's a two bros fragrance, but every woman that's ever smelled it off of me or at my place fell in love and literally took it. It's pretty annoying. I'm on my third bottle, but <laughs> it is what it is. I love it. So if you guys look at some of the Arabian Ouds that are on the way, I have all of those Jebel fragrances, some of their more uh, luxury lines. I've got the Jebel Lowe's, Jebel Noor. I've also got Solid. Um, there is a an Arabian Oud fragrance that's a cheapy. It's a freshie. Still haven't tested it yet, but I'm looking at it. It's about $44.99 for an Arabian Oud fragrance. It might be very basic considering the price point, but it is what it is. The other fragrance that's worth mentioning, it's a decent deal. It's not the best deal in the world, but it's actually pretty low in comparison to, <laughs> excuse my little low rider action, but in comparison to what I bought it at, I bought this fragrance at about 155 Nishani's Hachivat. Uh, 100 ml, I bought it for 155. Right now it's 142. Another one that's on sale. You guys 
Kajal's Lamar is amazing. It's a great pineapple baccarat vibe type of fragrance. Uh, there's a woman's fragrance that I'm absolutely in love with and it's Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I freaking love that juice. Ursa, I thought about picking that one up. It's not a bad deal for 123. A lot of Kajal fragrances at about $100 when they're usually about 120. So you're saving about $20 with that one. Um, there are some fragrances by Dolce & Gabbana. I mean, it's pretty dated. I can't sit here and honestly say that I would recommend some of those. Otherwise, Starlight is amazing, you guys. Middle Eastern tea vibes, clove, cardamom type of vibes with vanilla. Very smooth, very refined, great fragrance. Another one that I saw that was quite interesting, but a little pricey, but still 100 ml of Italica for 194. Not the worst thing in the world. Udin Overdose is a super classic barbershoppy type of fragrance. Udin itself is also on sale for 146, so it's a dollar cheaper. Uh, B612, which smells basically just like fixatives, like ISO E Super, almost like Molecule 01, a 1.7 ounce by Nishani for 105. So, if that's something that you're after. But yeah, Kajal Ohm and Kajal Ohm 2 are about 100 bucks. You can pick them both up for 200 bucks. That's not bad. That's not bad. Actually, that's something that I'm considering getting right now. Um, the other ones that look pretty interesting is Laudano Nero. You guys, if you enjoy Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford, Laudano Nero. I'll place that down in the description. Smells pretty close to it. So you guys know it's discontinued, but the uh, Tiziana Terenzi Laudano Nero smells very, very close to it. Laudano Nero is one that I can 100% recommend if you like those uh, skanky type of oud fragrances, and you guys know I do. Another fragrance that I see on sale, it's a super honey rose, like straight up honey and rose, is Jewelry by Kajal. Jewelry by Kajal, beautiful bottle, but it's very, very, very rose and honey forward. Uh, the other one, El Contario by Tiziana Terenzi, is one that I have. It's a strange vanilla take, but not the worst one in the world. It smells pretty good in my opinion. Not something that I really reach for often, but nevertheless, the price is pretty, pretty damn nice. So aside from those fragrances, that's all I really would recommend. I'll go ahead and place some of the links down in the description. You have until September 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Made this video a little bit late, so my apologies, but you have the entire rest of the day to check out some of their selections. So I picked up about three fragrances. Check them out. If you see anything that interests you, you definitely want to get them while they're on sale now. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know it's very unconventional and unusual for me, but nevertheless, we're here and we did it. If you enjoyed watching this, do me a solid, hit that subscribe, and until the next one, peace.